friends. So I'm taking a look at our learning template. So yes, we went over the phonics pattern. We went over our high frequency words. We did lesson 10. So we need to make sure that we are reading the text a lost button for our writing prompt for this week. So let's take a look at what we have for writing this week. So it says, in the text, a lost button, Toad and Frog were good friends who helped each other. Write about one of your good friends. What makes them a good friend? Be sure to include three reasons to support your answer. So this week, we're gonna have you do kind of a fun writing assignment where you can tell us about one of your special friends. It could be somebody in your family, it could be somebody at school, it could be somebody outside of school. And I want you to tell me at least three reasons why that person is a good friend. So I just wanna take a look quickly. So science, we're all set. Oh, it looks like we're gonna watch a video on the moon. Okay, so science, we're gonna be all set. Lots of stuff about the moon. Okay, so that's all set. Phonics all set. Yep, favorite book. Okay, yes. And I did 11 and 12. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at the story for today. So this story is called A Lost Button. It is a frog and toad, our friend story. This is a great series, especially for first grade. If you are getting into um, a little bit more of the beginner chapter books, Frog and Toad are awesome. So again, our genre fantasy essential question, how can we classify and characterize things, categorize things, and read about what happens when Toad loses his button. Toad and Frog went for a long walk. They walked across a large meadow. They walked in the woods. They walked along the river. At last, they went back home to Toad's house. Oh, drat, said Toad. Not only do my feet hurt, but I have lost one of the buttons on my jacket. Oh no, one of his buttons are missing. Don't worry, said Frog. We will go back to all the places where we walked. We will soon find your button. They walked back to the large meadow. They began to look for the button in the tall grass. Here is your button, cried Frog. That is not my button, said Toad. That button is black. My button was white. Toad put the black button in his pocket. A sparrow flew down. Excuse me, said the sparrow. Did you lose a button? I found one. That is not my button, said Toad. That button has two holes. My button had four holes. Toad put the button with two holes in his pocket. Oh, they're finding every button but his. They went back to the woods and looked on the dark paths. Here is your button, said Frog. That is not my button, cried Toad. That button is small. My button was big. Toad put the small button in his pocket. A raccoon came out from behind a tree. I heard that you were looking for a button, he said. Here is one that I just found. That is not my button, wailed Toad. That button is square. My button was round. Toad put the square button in his pocket. It's really nice that all of his friends are keeping an eye out for his button, though. I like that. Frog and Toad went back to the river. They looked for the button in the mud. Here is your button, said Frog. That is not my button, shouted Toad. That button is thin. My button was thick. Oh, he's getting Toad very angry Toad put the now. thin button in his pocket. He was very angry. He jumped up and down and screamed. The whole world is covered with buttons and not one of them is mine. Toad ran home and slammed the door. There on the floor, he saw his white... Oh, or hold no. big, round, thick button. Oh. oh, said Toad. It was here all the time. What a lot of trouble I have made for Frog. And Frog was really helping him look for that button, and he kind of wasn't being that nice to him either. Toad took all of the buttons out of his pocket. He took his sewing box down from the shelf. Toad sewed the buttons all over his jacket. The next day, Toad gave his jacket to Frog. Aww. Frog thought that it was beautiful. 
He put it on and jumped for joy. None of the buttons fell off. Toad had sewed them on very well. Oh, what a sweet story. So all that time, Frog was helping him to find his button, as well as some other animal friends, too. And Toad was becoming very discouraged. And he wasn't nice to Frog um, some of the time. But at the end, he made it up to Frog. He sewed the buttons that they had found together on a jacket and gave him the jacket to wear, which is very sweet. So again, um, for the writing prompt this week, you're going to tell me about one of your good friends. It could be a family member. It could be somebody in or outside of school. And you're going to tell me at least three reasons why that person is a good friend to you. It could be reasons. It could be a story of a time, just like in Frog and Toad, where a friend did something very nice for you or helped you to do something. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed the story and I will see you soon.